Hello, everyone. Imagine the possibility that you might be happier than you actually think. And my goal for the next 18 minutes is to see if that's true or not. So don't be afraid. You don't have to be unhappy to benefit from my attempt. Uh, however, I do need some participation from all of you, and I also need your honesty. I would like to start out with a few questions and just raise your hand if the answer applies to you. Who of you has ever had a day when they feel sad? I know, I did. I think all of us did. Who of you has been feeling sad for a longer period of time? Maybe something equivalent to a winter depression or something. Also a lot of people. Who of you have been depressed for a longer period of time and you were unable to go to work, to school, or have a quality life? A few people. And my final question for this moment is, who of you have been depressed for a longer period of time and thought it was the worst and the best thing that ever happened to them? I already expected to be the only one. Um, today, I would like to tell you something about myself and my depression. Um, about five and a half years ago, I became depressed. I crashed and burned. It was not the way of depressed like your favorite sports team lost a match and you were bummed out, but the way of being emotionally broken, uh, having no energy, and feeling like a failure at life. It took me almost one and a half year to fully recover from this. Uh, I had my family backing me up, I had friends, I had therapy and I had medication. And during this time, I learned something about myself. As serious as my depression was, I learned I am terrible at being depressed. Uh, in, in what way? From the beginning in my depression, I knew I would get better. I didn't know when, I didn't know how, but I had faith I would get better. So I learned that even in my darkest days, there is still positivity in me, and that meant a lot to me. Also during my depression, I had a lot of time to think about my life. What do I want in my life? Am I doing the right things to achieve these goals? Are these goals really the goals that I have? And it gave me a fresh start. I had the, the opportunity to start over. So I took advantage, advantage of it and I started a new study. I moved to a different city where I didn't know anybody. And at the time I was 22, I was highly motivated because since I conquered my depression, I thought, all right, I'm 22 and I've already had the worst part of my life behind me. From here on, everything will be better. And so far it has been, so I guess I've been right so far. And I thought by myself, all right, I need to make sure I will not get depressed again. Uh, which is, of course, a big of a statement to put on yourself, but I thought, all right, how can I do something like that? And I thought, okay, maybe I should take one moment every year to be honest with myself, look at my life, and say, hey, is this really what you want? If it is what I want, then I tell myself to go get it. If it's not what I want, I tell myself to change and kick myself in the butt to really change. And for me, this period is uh, every year in the month of February. Uh, why February? Uh, because uh, actually in February, it's, it's my birthday. Uh, so that's easier to, uh, to remember. And in February of 2012, I saw a video on YouTube. It was made by a girl who lives in Los Angeles, and I didn't know her at all. What she did, she videotaped the entire year of 2011. From every day, she took one second and edited it in chronological order. After I watched the movie, I was like, okay, I, I got an idea of who she is now. And I also thought, wow, your life is a lot of fun. And I was wondering, is, is my life that much fun? So I thought, all right, let's find out. And I started my own video project. 
I started on my birthday and I videotaped the ent entire 25th year of my life. During the making of this movie, again, I learned a lot of things about myself. The first thing is, I do a lot of things. I'm quite busy and almost all of it is fun. Second of all, I meet a lot of people. It doesn't matter if I meet them for the first time or that they have been with me for a long time. I meet a lot of people and together you make life amazing because you are able to share memories. And finally I learned that if I would not have made this movie, I think I would have probably forgotten about 90% of all these great memories. Why? Because I was so focused on what I should achieve that I wasn't looking at the way I was living. I wasn't appreciating what I was doing. I wasn't enjoying it as much as I thought I was. So, today I want to share my movie with you. Um, and so I, I hope you can get an impression of how many things you actually do within a year. And during the watching of the movie, I also want you to think about your own life of the past year. Try to remember some nice memories that you've had. And one more thing, I also want you to think about something that you are doing right now, or recently did, that you are really proud of, or you think you achieved something. In this movie, you will see my personal life. You will see the fun parts, uh, you see me travel a lot, you will see the, the, the wedding of my brother and his wife, uh, and you see me do a lot of stuff with, with friends and family. However, I try to make it an honest movie. So you will also see me lying on the couch, eating pizza and playing video games. It's part of life too. Uh, another thing is, in the end of the movie, you will see a list of names of all the people who I've met in that year. Um, so think for yourself about the year and your recent memory that you're proud of. And for now, please enjoy. My dreams 
Thank you. As you can see, quite a lot of memories and quite a lot of people. And since I realized I didn't acknowledge all of my memories, I also found out I missed out on a lot of positivity. And I'm going to do a little experiment right here, because I think all of you have been missing out on a lot of positivity too. Um, so uh, this is to the audience, uh, not to the speakers of today, but who does remember the last time they got a big round of applause? <laughs> well, don't worry, it takes most of people quite a bit of time to remember. And this is strange to me, because I bet you remember the hard work you've been doing lately. Why don't you remember your reward? And um, for the next part, I, I need a volunteer. I don't know if there's anybody to help, uh, willing to help me out. Also, I'm going to point at somebody. I'm going to point at you. Can you please come up the stage? Don't worry, it will not be completely scary. Hi, what, what's your name? Eric. Eric. All right. I uh, asked before the movie to think of something, to think of something that you're doing right now that you're really proud of. Uh, I don't know if you came up with something, but if would you like to share it with us? Um, well, actually, I've been thinking about your movie and uh, your movie, and I didn't really realize the goal you, you've given me. Uh, because there were so many things going on and I was relating everything to, or as much as I could, because there was really a lot, mm -hmm. uh, to, to my own personal life. Okay. And um, uh, I was thinking about what, what kind of shots I would have taken to put in this movie, because that's also, yeah. you have to select, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, there are way more memories than you yeah. just see in the movie. Yeah, actually, it's a, bit, a little bit stupid, babe, because I'm, I'm recently doing quite... Uh, uh, great things, uh -huh. uh, especially with my company, but uh, the, th the things that I, I'm really most proud of at this moment is okay. that I just li built a little, uh, a little gate in our garden. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's really stupid. I can look at it over and no, over it, again. It's, it, it's not stupid. <laughs> it's not stupid. Yeah. And what I would like to do is to give Eric a round of applause from all of us for making that gate in the garden. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And um, this might look silly, and I guess it is a little silly, but I found out that when you share your positive experiences with people, they become even better. Right now, I had the opportunity to share a spotlight. Why not get somebody else up here and share it with them? And I, I hope you enjoyed it, or in the long run will enjoy the, the, the moment. And to me, uh, there are two things that you should do when it comes to memories. And I like to call it realizing memories. You have to make memories by living life, but you also have to acknowledge the memories in your life and accept them. So, normally a talk would end with the applause directed to the speaker. I don't want that. I have an opportunity here. There are people in the audience, and there are people watching on the internet, and I want the applause to be directed to you. Why? Well, it's for you because you are a great family man. It's for you because you helped out somebody else. It's for you because you got out of bed today, because that is hard for some people. So, that being said, thank you, and this is for you.